Hi, and welcome to today's June 26th stimulus package update. Uh, today I want to cover stimulus check information coming out of the White House. I also want to uncover, to cover uh, important stimulus related dates and some mortgage assistance and rent assistance ideas for my community. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, subscribe right now for all of the best updates and other smart money tips. Monica Crawley of the Treasury Department said in an interview this week, if we see in another few weeks that the need is still there for an additional kind of stimulus, the Trump administration has made it clear that we will consider all options, including additional stimulus checks. Um, I don't think they need to wait a few weeks to see that the country is struggling to reopen and many people are financially struggling. Uh, I, I think there are some key pieces of data that the Senate has been blinded to. For example, I think in their minds they offered a generous unemployment package. So they assume everyone has been able to get on that immediately and without issues. but. That is not the case. Uh, it, it's, it, it's like when someone, when you send someone a text message, in your mind, you're like, okay, they got it and read it, but maybe they don't see it for a day or for a week. But in our minds, we assume that they've already got that because we sent it. Um, just, just because you signed into law to cover unemployment doesn't mean that the people got the, the money immediately or at all. Those are 50-year-old antiquated systems where some people have waited eight to 10 months to get money, or excuse me, eight to 10 weeks to get money, or eight to 10 weeks to be rejected. So don't assume that everyone got that generous unemployment money. I think that they are also assuming that many of the paycheck to paycheck workers or fixed income citizens didn't just see an, uh, an increase on the cost of living, on the cost of food. Um, it's crazy that they don't see this stuff. Uh, I, I think that they assume that because they haven't seen uh, any change to their income, that the rest of the country hasn't either. Well, that, that's inappropriate. Um, I think that because of the protection on evictions, that they also don't see that there is a massive tidal wave of evictions coming, that it, it's gonna put tons of people into a homeless position or moving in with family and friends position. I think that once that ban is lifted, that they will see, oh my gosh, <laughs> we shouldn't be out here. That's a huge wave. I, I think that they may have been blinded by the financial struggles of the everyday man and woman because they are not personally financially struggling. I mean, come on, think about how many single parents suddenly couldn't even go to work because they had to become homeschool teachers. I, I mean, there's just so many areas that I think that they are blinded to. You know, are they assuming that the country is doing well because only 40 million people lost their jobs? Like, come on, 40 million is a huge number. Well, there are also tens of millions that didn't lose their job, but they did lose income and they did lose hours. So that's almost a job loss if you think about it. A 40 hour per week uh, job that now only allows you to come in for 20 hours, in my opinion, is a lost job but they won't see it that way. Now, regarding the coronavirus, Larry Kudlow of the White House has said that the nation as a whole will not do a lockdown ever again. Yes, there may be hot spots, and they will deal with those hot spots in a targeted manner as they come up. He then pointed out that although cases have increased, fatalities have decreased. So that, that's one positive bit of information from Mr. Kudlow. <laughs> So uh, what is, what is the, the couple weeks from now that the White House or the Senate might be waiting on, right? This, uh, this woman said they're waiting a couple of weeks. So what is that? I think that the big date that they're waiting on is this next week, which is July 2nd. Uh, that is when the jobs report will come out. Uh, the Senate has said repeatedly that the jobs report of June will give them the data they need to make a decision. Uh, so they also might be waiting to see how the stock market reacts to the jobs report. Um, if it comes out good, they'll see that go up. If it comes out bad, they'll see the, the market drop. 
so the Senate will be going on break just as these reports come out, but hopefully they will go into their break with this data so that they can start formulating a plan while they are away from Washington. Hey, if you found this video to be helpful so far, will you give it a like? That way YouTube will share it with others. And also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe right now. Uh, if you have a mortgage or own a rental property, you might want to consider mortgage forbearance as opposed to losing your home. Forbearance means that the mortgage lender holds off on collecting money right now. Uh, once you come out of forbearance, you will be given options such as loan reinstatement if you're able to catch up on all of those loan payments. Uh, they might set up a six to 12 month recovery repayment program where your mortgage is a couple hundred dollars higher for six to 12 months so that they can collect those back mortgage payments. They might do mortgage deferment where they continue to accrue interest against you, but they take those missed payments and they tack it onto the back of the loan. Now, personally, I think the federal government should have mandated deferred loan payments from day one, right? Like, think about a blanket. They could have cut off three or four months, sewn it onto the back of the loan, and everybody, everybody, landowners, homeowners would all have been fine, except for it would have taken them a couple more months to pay off their mortgage. But who cares, right? I, I think that should have been mandatory. They missed the boat on that one. Okay, you might be given a loan modification option, or if you are still struggling, they might give you extended forbearance where they give you an additional three to six months. Uh, your mortgage company will not reach out to you. In most cases, you will need to reach out to them. But make sure that you understand the options that they present to you before moving forward. You don't wanna make a bad decision because you lack understanding of, of what they're offering. Okay, now if you are a renter, I have a few ideas for you. You can search rental assistance and your zip code to learn about possible programs that are coming out. Uh, I'm seeing different cities open up each day and your city may, may have some kind of rental assistance program. You can also call 211 and ask to be pointed towards local programs that would help with rental assistance and also food assistance. Another idea that you might try if you're facing eviction is to reach out to your landlord and ask if he or she has received the EIDL grant money. If they have not, let them know that they can apply for the, ELD, the EIDL grant money, which is $1,000 for each employee that they have on that business. Uh, one of the questions uh, on that application is, have you lost rental income? Uh, if they qualify for this, they will be sent money within a few days that would help cover the, the loss of, of that rental income. Uh, as a landlord, if you get that $1,000, perhaps you could show some mercy and kindness towards your renter and not evict them uh, so quickly because you just received money, right? And as a renter, perhaps they will show you that kindness if at the same time of bringing a problem, you bring a solution to them to get some money that, that might get you some points in their mind. Um, I, I, hope you, I hope that somebody listening to this uh, finds this information helpful and, and is, is useful in keeping them in their home or their apartment. Uh, for business owners, the PPP deadline is next Tuesday, June 30th. If you still need help with that, reach out. I believe Cabbage Online is still accepting applications. My business was finally approved for the PPP to help recover some of the lost funds from March, April, and May, where our business took a, a big hit. Uh, I won't be doing another stimulus uh, update until Monday of this coming week, but do watch for words of encouragement this weekend, as I would like to share a story of resourcefulness and recovery that I found inspiring and helpful in my own life. Hey, I just want to say how grateful I am that you are in my community. No matter what happens this weekend, don't forget that you are amazing. And I'll see you on the next video.